everyone. Hello, girls and boys. Welcome to our episode prepared for grade five. In this episode, we will complete our unit of Dixon House and we will take lots of interesting things. So don't go away. Stay with us. We'll go for a short break and we will be right back. Welcome back. We said that before the break, we are going to take lots of interesting things. So in this episode, we are going to take ask and answer using would and wouldn't like to, ask and answer questions using past simple. The last thing we are going to cover, form questions using the correct WH questions. We'll go for a small exercise before we cover all this stuff. Am um, is not, they are. These are long and short forms. And you are going to write the long form if it's a short form and the short form if it's a long form. So let's see the first one. Am, um, it's a short form. So what do you think the long form of am? Um? Yes, if you have a pencil, you can write down. I am. Absolutely right. Is not. It's a long form. What's the short form of it? Isn't. Very good. They are. It's a long form. The short form of it is. There. So the answer of they are the long form there. Now we are going to have a nice song. It describes the WH words that we are going to use for the questions. So let's listen to the song and we will be back. We saw the song, it's about the WH words that we use for the questions. We knew that who for people, where for places, when for time, and how for reasons. Okay, so you're able to differentiate between them. Now let's see what do we have right now. There are 30 rooms. In Dixon House, do you remember? There are 30 rooms. So, is this an old time or nowadays? What do you think? In old times, you are right. Let's see another sentence. There is electricity. Is this in old times or nowadays? Electricity, do you remember? Nowadays, you are right. Let's take one more. They have fresh water. What do you think? Is it in old times 
or nowadays? You can guess. It's now. They grew vegetables in their garden. Do you think? Is it nowadays or it was in old times? In old times, that's great. Your guess is perfect. Now, we are going to match some pictures with words. These words are prepositions. Now, look at the first picture. Behind, yes. The fish is behind the box. Behind. Can you put something behind you? Yes, you can put your bag behind you. Yes, that's correct. Behind. Let's go for the next picture. Look at the fish. Where is the fish? The fish is inside the box. Inside. Can you put your books inside your bag? Inside, all of them. Inside the bag, very good. Let's see the third picture. The fish is next to the box, next to. Yes, who's sitting next to you? No one? Okay, the last one. The fish is in front of the box. Can you put your bag now in front of you? Yes, you can put it. That's great. Now you know the prepositions that we took in our last episode. Now, do you remember our song about the WH words that we are using for the questions? Now we have one of them, where. We use word to ask for the location or place. So, if we want to ask about our house, or where are we in the cinema, or in the park. This is one example. Where is the bird? Where? We want to ask about the place, so we put where. Where is the bird? It's in the cage. Why we used where? Because we want to ask about a place. So here, we are asking about the place of the bird. So we said, where is the bird? It's in the cage. Now another question using the word where. Where did you go last night? Where? Oh, look at the boy. He said, I went to the cinema. So here, because we want to ask about a place, we use the word where in asking question. So where is the, where did you go last night? I went to the cinema. Now we are going to have now another question word. What? We use what to ask about people, animals, things, or actions. Okay, what? What's your name? I'm asking about you, what's your name? So I'm using what? My name is Nora. So I use what to ask about a person. What time is it? I'm asking about thing. It's two o'clock. Now we are going to have a new question word, which is when. Oh, what do you think? You listened to the song and you knew when to use the word when. I will guess. We use when to ask about time or date. Now look at these pictures. Wow, they are explaining the question word when. Now when is your birthday? Oh, how about you? 
My birthday is on the 2nd of January. How about you? Check your civil ID. Let's see the girl. We are asking her, when is your birthday? Wow, they're making a nice birthday party. So, it's on the 9th of June. Her birthday is on the 9th of June. Here we use the word when in asking about the spe specific date. Okay, we have another question using the question word when. Let's read it together. When do you go to school? Oh, when do you go to school daily? Do you have a specific time? I go to school at 7 o'clock. How about you? Let's see our picture. Oh, look at them. They're so happy going to school. So, so when do you go to school? I go to school at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yes, you can use the same form to say your answer. Yes, that's right. I go to school at 7 o'clock. What do you take with you? So here I use the word what because I want to ask about something. So what do you take with you? Yes, I take my bag with me. See, I'm using the whole question words properly and you will be able to. Let's go for our next question. Oh, people are there. Who? We use who to ask about a person. Who is your brother? So I'm asking about your brother, a person. Now, who is your mother? I'm asking about a person. Who is your teacher? I'm asking about the, a person too. Now, let's see our first question. Wow, very nice question. Who's your English teacher? Who's your English teacher at school? You don't know her name? Why? Now, who is your Arabic teacher? Even you don't know? Why? Your math teacher. Who is your math teacher? So, I'm asking about a person. I use the question word, who? Let's see our answer. My English teacher is Miss Ghanima. Oh, see, I know my English teacher, but you don't. So, ask your mom. Maybe she knows who's your English teacher. Who takes you to school every day? Now, of course you go to school every day. Who takes you to school every day? So, I use who again to ask about a person. Your father or your mom, your mother or your sister. Maybe you have an elder sister who takes you to school every day. Let's see our answer. Oh, my brick brother takes me to school every day. Now, who takes you to school every day? Who? Again, who? Who takes you to school every day? Your brother, your sister or your mother? My brother takes me to school every day. Wow, how about you? Yes, you can say, use the question word properly. That's great. Now, we are going to ask about the past using the question words. Okay, so do you remember old times? What did we talk about? Yes, Dixon House. But in general, we will talk about old times and then Dixon House in specific. Okay, now let's go with it. What did people eat in the past? Look at the pictures. What? So I use what because I want to ask about things. What did people eat in the past? They ate vegetables and fish. They ate vegetables and fish. 
Now, our next question about old times. Oh, look at the picture of the house. Where did people sleep in the past? They slept on the roof. Yes. Again, I use where because I want to know about a place. Where did people sleep in the past? They slept on the roof. The last question is, where is Dixon House? So I use the WH word, where? Because I want to know the place of Dixon House. Where is Dixon House? Do you remember this piece of information? It's beside the sea. So again, don't forget that I use were to ask about places. Now, we have lots of interesting games and exercises. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. We have the first question word, where. Remember, where we ask about what? Yes, place. Good. And the second one, when. We ask about the time or a specific date. What? Okay, and the last question word, who? We use who to know or to ask about a person. Okay, the first question is so challenging. Is your school? Which question word is going to be suitable here? Do you think where? When, what, or who? Where? Where is your school? Completely right. Because I want to know the place of your school. So I said, where is your school? Again, I repeat. Use WH word where to ask about a place. Now let's go for our second question. Is your favorite teacher? So I'm asking about teacher. Teacher is a person. Okay, so which question word I'm going to use here? Where, when, what, or who? Guess? Yes, right. Who is your favorite teacher? Who is your favorite teacher? Now, our third question, do you go to school? Now, where, when, or who? When do you go to school? I want to know the time. So I ask using the question word, when. When do you go to school? Now, the last one is your favorite subject. Now, do you like English? Do you like Arabic? Math and science. So, is your favorite subject? So, which question word I'm going to use? I'm asking about something. So, I'm going to use where? I don't think so. When? I don't think so. Huh, what do you think? Yes, you are right. What is your favorite subject? What is your favorite subject? My favorite subject is English. How about you? What's your favorite subject? Arabic or math? Okay, now that's the end of our exercises. Now we'll go for something completely different. Are you willing to see? Okay. Okay, look at these two girls. What would you like to do, Muna? She's asking her friend. What would you like to do, Muna? I'd like to go shopping. How about you? What would you like to do? Okay, I would like to read books. Okay, how about you again? Okay. We'll go for another one. What would you like to do, Nora? I'd like to eat. I'm hungry. 
How about you? What would you like to do right now? Are you hungry? Would you like to eat? Are you thirsty? Are you going to drink something? Okay, let's go for our next slide. Wow, look at the girl. Look at her bedroom. So nice, organized, tidy, colorful. That's great. Let's see our question. We have two girls in the room. What would you like or wouldn't you like to do? There are things that you would like to do and things you wouldn't like to do. I would like to read in my room and I wouldn't like to eat in my room because it will get dirty. Okay, let's see this girl. I would like to read in my room. Wow, she's a good reader. She's reading in her room. So, she would like to read in her room. How about her sister? Oh, she said, I wouldn't like to read in my room. So, she wouldn't like to read in her room. How about you girls and boys? What are the things that you'd like to and the things that you wouldn't like to? Yes. Yes, you can give me one sentence. Oh, another that you wouldn't like to? That would be great. Try to write two sentences using the form I would like to and the other one I wouldn't like to. Wow, this girl is going out to the garden. So, I would like to grow vegetables in my garden. Oh, this girl would like to grow vegetables in her garden. How about you? Did you write your two sentences? Yeah, I'll be waiting for you. Look at this girl. Where is she? Oh, she's in the library. I think in her house. She's saying, I would like to read these books if I had the time. That's really great. How about you girls and boys? What's your sentence about I would like to? Okay, I would like to read the newspaper if I had the time. Let's go for our next slide. I wouldn't like to stay in the dark for a long time. Wow, the girl is afraid. She wouldn't like to stay in the dark for a long time. Now, what's the thing that you wrote that you wouldn't like to? Yes, you wouldn't like to eat lots of food. You wouldn't like to read lots of books. Oh, that's really lots of things that you wouldn't like to. Today, we had lots of interesting things. We learned about the past and we revised the prepositions and we took the WH questions for questioning. That's really marvelous. I think you had fun with me and the exercises, don't forget them. I hope that to see you in our next episode for grade five. That's all for today and see you next time.